Attacking forever chemicals, that's the goal of the Great Lakes PFAS Action Network as the group partners with local state lawmakers to protect communities from the hazardous material. TV 5's Lenita Brooks reports on the policies lawmakers aim to implement to ensure food, water, and local areas aren't contaminated with PFAS. PFAS chemicals have been linked to a number of health complications, including cancer, thyroid conditions, autoimmune diseases, and reproductive. And for those reasons and more, leaders from communities impacted by PFAS contamination join state lawmakers to highlight legislative action to protect the health of communities in Michigan. That's why our new leadership in Lansing is making this issue a high priority to protect our drinking water and health and hold polluters accountable. PFAS are considered forever chemicals because of how long they take to break down in the environment. PFAS was first publicly reported in Oscoda. Since then, the state of Michigan has identified more than 11,000 potential PFAS contaminated sites. The foam that we deal with in Oscoda is everywhere in our state. But Tony Spinola, co-chair of the Great Lakes PFAS Action Network, says most people are unaware of it. The harms from PFAS are real and tangible. For us, in the form of disease, I'm sorry, in the form of unsafe venison, unsafe small game, unsafe surface water and shoreline foam, unsafe fish, unsafe drinking water. My husband died of liver cancer, and it was the following year that I learned that I was drinking PFAS contaminated water. The Great Lakes PFAS Action Network is calling on legislation for more to be done. The Great Lakes PFAS Action Network is putting forward must include prohibiting the sale of PFAS containing products except when no safer alternative exists and expand PFAS monitoring and testing in surface water bodies. For WNEM TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks. Today's speakers also emphasize the need to give people access to blood tests to identify PFAS PFAS in their system and give people impacted access to medical care. Both lawmakers and residents push to hold companies accountable for PFAS pollution.